So you might have seen in the news that Bootstrap 3 is coming out. The RC1 is out, which is mobile first and features flat design, uh, which contrasts with the more gradiented uh, design that we saw in the past. So a lot of people like to talk about this, but I wanted to bring up kind of what the performance characteristics of flat design actually end up meaning. Now, to take a look at that first, I want to bring up Topcoat, uh, which is a, um, a CSS library um, from Adobe, and their number one goal is performance, and they actually benchmark their library um, against, uh, so this is a Nexus uh, mobile device, um, and they're benchmarking a number of different metrics, um, including layout, paint, time, uh, to see how their CSS design choices actually affect uh, what the situation is on the mobile web. So I want to do the, to do a rough look at the same thing. Um, so I took this page of all the components um, from the old 2.3.2 and also from the Bootstrap 3 RC1, and I basically removed everything that's not kind of the Bootstrap component stuff, uh, and we end up with these pages over here. Uh, so it's just kind of the examples, and it's pretty much the same stuff. Um, so what I'm going to do is just zoom out a whole bunch. And it's going to get pretty small, but there we go. So going back and forth, it's pretty much the same stuff um, from uh, in both of these. And so what I'm going to do is in Chrome, I'm going to open up the DevTools, and I'm going to turn on Continuous Paint. This is going to inform the browser, hey, repaint the page nonstop. Um, and just keep painting it. And from here we're going to get a good idea of what it takes to paint every element that's currently on the page. So we'll turn that on. Alright, cool. So uh, I can just verify this over in timeline, but we're seeing the same numbers, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, so we're seeing paint times of around uh, 42 here. It looks like we're oscillating a little bit, somewhere between uh, 9 and 60. But I'd say in general we're at about Averages out to like I don't know, eighteen ish, twenty. This is uh, and this is uh, the new Bootstrap three. And now I'll come over to uh, the older two point three point two. Put up Dev Tools. Continuous Paint should kick in. All right. And you're starting to see some different numbers pretty immediately. Um, so here looks like generally uh, we're getting a figure somewhere around. Uh, 30s, 40s, somewhere in that range. Um, so, of course, we're painting quite a bit of elements. Um, so, these times are all very large. Uh, but the important thing is really taking a look at the difference in these figures between um, our, two, our two pages. Um, and the significant thing is that in some of the design choices that were made for just kind of the visual design aesthetic of this flat design, it ends up being far cheaper for the browser to actually make these paint operations. Uh, this is really good because on mobile, everything takes long. So on mobile, you're looking at between six and ten times more duration for all operations, layout, recalc styles, paint. Um, and so anything that you can do to re reduce those uh, is good. And so one thing that I'm really excited about as far as the kind of the flat design aesthetic, um, seeing reduced paint times, uh, which is going to mean that Pages load faster, respond quicker, any sort of changes as far as the dynamics of a page on the mobile device um, are going to happen a lot more responsibly uh, because the amount of time required to do those paints is um, about half or so. So, really excited about that. Uh, thought you might like it.